here, Craig. Good. You know, we're running these little mini boards, the offshore tackle mini planer board. And uh, because we're running stick baits today, and stick baits are not a very big bait, they don't have a lot of resistance in the water. So we can get away with these little small planer boards. It's all yours, Mark. Good job. Oh, yeah, he's there. Decent fish. And, uh, and they make it nice because you can stack multiple lines per side. You know, it's pretty easy for me to fish three lines a side with these boards because when a fish bites, I can trip them. Oh, oh yeah. that's a very nice fish. Really nice fish, Mark. Very nice fish. That's what we're looking for, Craigie. Uh, you ready? Yep. Good job. Way to put him in Ooh, the bucket. Nice job. Now that's what we're looking for right there. That's a good post-spawn walleye, Saginaw Bay style. Maybe 20 inches or so. Certainly a good eating, eating class fish. You know, we're in the post-spawn period. The spawn is just a little bit behind us. And every year, once these fish spawn in the rivers, they drop back to Saginaw Bay, and the first place they're going to head are these shallow flats, uh, the areas between the rivers. For example, today we're fishing in an area between the Cacallan River mouth and the Saginaw River mouth. We're only in about eight or nine feet of water. Uh, this fish came out of a little, little small outcropping of rock. But these fish, what they'll do is they move into these shallow flats to feed. And one of the best ways to catch them is with stick baits or shallow diving crankbaits fished on planer boards. It's a deadly method that will catch you more springtime walleyes.